still work there. Representing Canada. Much anticipation for this skate. Give you a little background. Just over a year ago, Patrick Chan in the free skate at the national championships in this building lit it up. He's already at the other end of the rink. I love that. He'd like to go back in time and skate that program that let him beat Jeffrey Buttle again, only this time two triple axles. He's going to start with one right now. Wow. talking about Evan Lysachuk's landings and how he can hold them. Unbelievable control on the first few jumps. I was talking about. It didn't happen this time.
figure skating are watching a magician and he has cast a certain spell on this sport. His name is Patrick Chan. Well, he had a seven point buffer over Evan Lysacek coming into the free skate. Evan scoring over 10 points on that quad, which Patrick did not have. And by missing the second axle, that's about a seven point buffer gone. So it was so important that after that triple axle, Patrick was able to put that mistake behind him. He had to fight for some landings on the jumps. His uh, usual effortless ease, though, across the ice on the uh, footwork sequences and all of the connecting steps. But he did carry a very business-like look on his face. He was, he, this was a, a day at work, a day at the office, a triple axle. It runs so smoothly, it's so strong in the upper body that he can maintain that flow and pull it out through. Fantastic. But the second triple axle, dropping the left side as he goes in, popping up in the air, did not feel right. Had the presence of mind, though, to tack on the double jump. He added a couple little points there. And then what I loved about this performance, out of the footwork into a very difficult triple Lutz combination of double toe and double loop, and that at the end of his program. So he left some points on the table by opening up on the axle. This is where he gains points back. Look at his big galloping stride, the big, deep, curving edges. A full body movement, an ease and change of directions. It's uh, quite remarkable what he does. And I think it's that that earns him the respect of his peers because the skaters truly appreciate how difficult and tiring that kind of skating can be. Evan Lysacek, the leader, backstage, looks relaxed. Don Laws and Patrick Chan waiting for the marks. Here they come. Technical. 80-19, 80-10 for the program. 160-29. And he's got lots to put himself in first place. And that is the highest score this year in competition, hitting 160 and besting Jeremy Abbott's best of 159.